Oh, that's better. Do you know those moments where you just have to get off the beach? It's too busy, too many people, queue for the car park. I start to get a bit twitchy, you know me, when it's like that. Anyway, today we are going spear fishing and we have taken a paddleboard to get to the perfect location away from the crowds. Because today, it is a beautiful day in Cornwall. It's 20 past six in the evening. Let me get this board on the beach and let me tell you what the plan is. Okay, so what we are gonna do, we are gonna go and try and some, find some fish. I know a lot of you out there, maybe not into fishing, not into spear fishing. I am quite heavily in spear fishing and fishing. And I think spear fishing is a really good way of selecting the right fish and no bycatch and all that sort of stuff. Yes, you still have to kill a fish, so if you don't want to watch that sort of thing, don't watch this video. But I do do it as humanely as possible, apart from shooting them with a spear, which I know isn't very humane. Um, for this video, Thurzo really wanted us to use the Thurzo Surf Max, which I've used before and Bo's used before. And to be honest, it is a really good board for this because it's monstrous. I've got all my dive stuff, I've got my spear gun, my fins. I've even got all my weights here. There's about nine kilos of the weights. All my dive gears in there. Probably about 25 kilos, 30 kilos of stuff. The downside to this board is it's heavy. It's 15 kilos. It does weigh a lot, but it has got all of the bungees and all that sort of stuff. But it's so big, I can even take my wheels. So I've got my wheels with me. So I could walk from the car park to the launch location and then I could paddle as about a kilometer up the coast to the perfect quiet beach where there's nobody. And I know from a spearing point of view, it's better here because if you're not into spearing or fishing in general, well, not really fishing, it doesn't matter, but spear fishing, if you can find a quieter spot where less spearos and people go spearfish, the fish are less spooky. So I'm in a spot where I know that it's a little less speared. I'm not gonna tell you where it is because it's a little less speared. Uh, so let's get suited up and get all the gear on, which unfortunately is a bit hot because it is probably still 26 degrees at 7 o'clock at night. Now, if you're not a spear fisherman, the basic equipment you need to go spear fishing is a spear gun, is a wetsuit, is a dive float so you can be seen, a mask, a snorkel, a dive knife, a pair of fins, and because of the thick wetsuit, you will always need some weights and a lot of common sense, some good safety knowledge, idea of the tides, weather, wind, all that sort of stuff does help as well. I will say I don't usually do this sort of thing, as in I do this sort of thing all the time, but I don't ever film it. I don't, I've never filmed a spear fishing session. I've always kept this as my own personal hobby and I didn't want to sort of bring work into it. I know it's not work, but it is work, but I do use a paddle board. So sometimes you can go out with the paddle board and tow it behind you, clipping the safety line from your gun which is my gun here um, and it, you sometimes goes to a float or you can clip it to your board because there's a bit of chop today and a little bit of wind I'm gonna go straight to float because there'll be a little bit too much drag and obviously the line is on the end of the spear and if your spear is going to be shooting a fish and it's not accurate then you endanger losing the fish if you don't hit it correctly so I've opted to go for the float and leave the board on the beach but still being able to take all this kit around the corner to an empty beach middle of summer when i know it's absolutely jam-packed over there is amazing one little thing i did do to this thursday which you might find interesting or you might not you might be like that's completely dull even but this board comes as an option as a two plus one setup but i've just done it as a just a single fin because i don't really need that straight line tracking and I really want a bit more efficiency, a bit less drag when I'm paddling. So dropping those two side fins out will give me a little bit more speed. It's not a fast board to paddle. It's a really big board to paddle. But I have to say what Thursday have done with all these handles on here and the clips, you can paddle, you can, I've had fishing rods in here before. I did think I probably should have bought my fishing stuff as well, but I haven't. So definitely these sort of big boards, the compromise is weight and overall speed on the water. If you can, live with that and you want to take stuff they're pretty good right anyway that's enough board pimping let's get out there and let's see what we can find
Well, there we go. Nice little dive. Saw a good little bit of wildlife, even a little lobster. Found one good fish in the end, so that was good. Family are going to be eating fish tonight. Check out that. Moon's just come up. I've just got changed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of this big old board and I've got a bit of a downwind paddle now. I've got my jam and peanut butter sandwich. The wind's switched. It's because it's got um, in, in the UK a lot of times when the high pressure's set in. Um, at night, it might be onshore, you might get a sea breeze onshore, but at night it switches offshore, light offshores. So at the moment I'm taking advantage, I'm actually going to be paddling along the coast back. I've got a gentle offshore as I go back. But what I'm going to do, pick up some rubbish on the beach, have a little scout around. One of my quick wins, I can see polystyrene block. This stuff is so good to pick, to pick up because it's light and it keeps on getting to a million pieces. And yeah, it's easy to carry home. There's a bit more here and stuff. I'm gonna eat my sandwich, enjoy the view. And I think I'm going to collect some rubbish and then cruise on back. Right, I'm all set. Oh, look at the sky. Oh, lovely. I tell you what, this board is pretty incredible, the amount of stuff you can get on it. This is amazing for your dive weight. So there's two little handles, there's like a Durzo handle there. There's one there, wrapped it around in the middle of the board. Dry bag at the front there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And it's got all the handles and all the stuff you need. So I'm just kicking myself because I should have brought my fishing rod. God, stupid of me. Got enough space. Lovely. Lovely. I'll paddle off in the distance. 